Okay, first thing I need to do is transfer this painting to my sketchbook. I have a piece of transfer paper. You want the black touching the paper. And then you put your photo on top. And then you trace over all of the lines. And whatever you trace over should transfer onto your sketchbook paper. Okay, so I'm gonna keep tracing. Okay, so when I lift it, I can check and make sure I have all my lines. So I'm gonna take this off. Now if I want something to be lighter, like in here, there's that candle glow, so you can't erase, because this is... Okay, so I'm going to do an underpainting, and I want this underpainting to be orange, because I have a lot of oranges in here, and then I'm going to build layers on top. So the way we do an underpainting is by adding a lot of water. So I'm gonna get my brush, a big flat brush, or you can use a mop brush, water, and then a lot of orange. I want to be kind of transparent. Kind of move that paint around. Don't let a lot of, lot of water sit on your sketchbook paper. It'll start to warp it since it is paper. Okay, boom, now you want that to dry. Okay, I'm gonna work in the background first. And so I want to lighten it because when I look at the background, it's lighter than the objects, but there's also a lot of it in this transparent glass. So I'm going to start with the white base. I'm working with my paint palette. So here's a white base. Um, there's some warmth in there. So I'm gonna get some orange. Add that to my white base, but I wanna dull the orange. So to dull it, you add a little bit of the complementary color. You guessed it, blue. So I'm just trying to get, oh gosh, that's a lot. A Little bit on there. Mm, kind of looks purpley, which is nice. Now I want to do a transparent layer. So now I'm working with my gloss gel medium. Okay, perfect. So you're going to start to paint that on everywhere in the background. So like around all of your objects. If you want, you could also put it right into your glass. I don't think I made enough. I need more. Now I'm going to think about where can I make it even lighter. So I definitely want it lighter. So I'll get some white. Mix it into that color, you can add it straight on. I still have gel medium on my brush. Only wash your brush if you really need to. Keep getting lighter in here. some highlights in there. Okay, since I have some white on my brush, I'm gonna start to add some in this shape here. All right, got some background started ends by the way. Painting goes about there. Here. Okay. Alright. So that was kind of like a light transparent layer. I think I need a little bit more because it kind of goes right into kind of fades into that out there. But then it's a little lighter up against the edge here. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna go opaque. I'm gonna work on this yellow candle. I need some yellow though. If I put white into my yellow, it makes it a lot more opaque. So I'm just gonna start going over all of this with the yellow. I did mix some white into there, but I also didn't clean my brush, so I have a lot of gel medium. It's a conundrum. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use some gel medium now on my brush to get this little speck of a candle showing up. Some yellow lights. Try to get the reflections everywhere where you see yellow. So if it's on your brush, move it around. Get some more straight up yellow. That means no gel medium, by the way, if I say straight up. All right, get some gel medium. Get some specks of yellow. All right, now I want to look at this glow here. So it's not yellow, it's kind of white, a little bit of orange, and a lot of gel medium. So I'm going to wipe my brush clean. Clean. Get some white, get some orange, and a lot of gel medium. I can always test. I think I need more white. I do need more white. Right. Mix that in. All right, I'm gonna work on that flame. So remember when you're doing the flame, you wanna get that hard edge, means crisp lines. And then where is that flame reflecting? So it's reflecting up here little specks going throughout, it's reflecting over here. So you want to start moving that light around. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm gonna start trying to go darker, right? So you see where this sphere is kind of sitting on this thing. So let's wash the white off my brush until I wanna go darker. It's like a really warm brown. So I've got some brown, I think this is a burnt sienna. Add some red. And then I wanna start light, so I'm gonna mix my gel medium Start glazing with layers. You can always work back on top of this. Oops.
Okay, now with this color on my brush, where else can I add this? Is there some warmth back in here? Some warmth back here, back behind this candle. So we're not doing details, we're really just looking at values, thinking about transparency versus opacity, building up some layers. Okay, I'm gonna get more gel medium to work into the candle with this reddish brown color that I have. I haven't gotten a thin brush yet. I think it almost might be time to get some details on here. Okay, now I wanna think about maybe some greens. So some blue, some yellow. Again, gloss gel medium. Mm, more gloss gel medium. Start building up some dark layers back here. All right, I'm going to keep working on this, working on dark to light, transparent versus opaque. 